when I was looking at um, animated map tutorials, people were suggesting that I needed to have um, extra plugins, visit websites, or extra software in order to be able to accomplish this. And I wondered if it was possible um, to be able to do an animated map without this extra software. Well, it is. And users of um, iMovie or Final Cut Pro can do this very simply in Keynote. So just let's just jump in straight into Keynote and, and let's see how we create the animated map and then we'll go into Final Cut Pro and see how you can further animate the map. Okay so here we are um, in Keynote. I've loaded up a map um, London to Jakarta with a little stopover at Abu Dhabi. You usually have about four hours in Abu Dhabi. Um, I've used a standard atlas style map you can use any map you like and i've sized it to fit the frame the first thing i need to do is to draw um, my moving line from london to jakarta and there we go just use the pen tool and snap that into place and um, i'm going to format the line i'm going to keep the same style um, and we'll just make it a little thicker and then um, change the color I like to have red um, it's really up to you what color you use now you see I have a little problem um, that Abu Dhabi where I'm going to stop is slightly below um, the line so I'm just going to pull the line down create a little curve in the line um, just to compensate so that it goes through Abu Dhabi now to animate it I'm just going to use a build in and draw a line and there you go it's done so now we just need to uh, increase the amount of time that it takes and we don't want any acceleration points anywhere so we'll just remove those and there you have a good 10 second line that passes all the way through Abu Dhabi and arrives at my destination in Jakarta Okay, so that bit's done. It's very, very simple. Um, I'm going to add an airplane, a top-down view of an airplane that I found online, royalty-free. These are very easy to find. Um, before I do it, I'm just going to format it so I get the right style. I want to be able to see it, and that's good. So now I'll just scale it to a reasonable size to fit the map. Okay, and then I'm just going to pop it over and pop it on London. I'm going to magnify um, the screen a little bit because I need to rotate it and I want it to be lined up exactly on the red line. So I'm going to pop into um, and I'm just going to rotate the airplane until it's absolutely matched up with the direction of the line. Okay, that's cool. Now, um, the next job I need to do, I'll go back to 50 so I can see it, is to animate the aircraft. So basically, I'm going to go to action, and for a build here, I'm just going to do move. Now, you see the airplane's moved slightly. Now, we'll grab it and take it to Jakarta. And because of the curve that we created in the original line I have the same problem so now I'm just going to move that down so that it matches the curve of the original line that we had okay so that's pretty cool and I'm going to up that to 10 seconds so that it actually takes the same amount of time to travel and then get rid of all the acceleration points as well but there is a little problem and when we um, because the curve has created a little problem so when we magnify it we'll see um, oh no, I'm zooming in here we can see that because of the curve the plane is now not lined up properly it's so easy to fix I'm just gonna go to add build and I'm gonna rotate and so we'll go counterclockwise and now I'm just gonna change the angle until it's lined up with the red line and we're not far off and there it is it's about eight degrees it's the, the drop has created at eight degrees we need now to make sure that the rotation is the same length of time as the others let's go to our build order and we'll go click make sure each of these is with build one and that's it it's done um, 
So now let's um, go back to 50% and click on preview. And there you are. You have a lovely animated airplane flying over the map through Abu Dhabi. Um, the rotation is perfect and it's all lined up at the um, departure point and the arrival point. Now we're just going to save that. We'll save it as a movie. And we want those set at zero. I'm going to save it as 1080p because I'm going to zoom when I get um, into Final Cut Pro. And I'll just name it so that I can find it and click save. And that's it. That's the job done. So you can just use this in iMovie just as it is or you can pop it into Final Cut Pro and do a lot more in Final Cut Pro. Okay, so here we are in Final Cut Pro 10, um, and as you can see, to save time, I've loaded up a load of sound effects, some music already. I've put a plane taking off at the beginning, a plane taking off, uh, landing at the end, and I've also included a little um, transit transit stop video. Um, and I've got in the middle there, I've got my map that I made in Keynote. Okay, so. Um, the first thing that I want to do to the map is I want to uh, just add a little effect. I'm just going to add a bit of sepia um, or sepia, whatever, however it's pronounced, um, but I know what it is. Um, and I'm, I like it to look like an old atlas book, so I'm just going to reduce that down to about 75. It's a bit strong. So um, that creates a different look um, to the map. Um, which I like a lot better. Okay, but it's still very, very bland at this point. Um, and now we need to see what we can do to make the map a bit better. So we're going to animate it a bit more. Um, and we're going to find the midpoint where we stop in transit over Abu Dhabi. And it's somewhere about there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is press Shift and H and that will create a hold point for me, which I'm now going to increase the amount of time spent at the hold. I'm also going to slow down the flight path to about 70 on both sides. So now I've got a um, nice slow movement towards the midpoint in Abu Dhabi, transit stop, and then I've got a nice slow um, map movement towards Jakarta. So now I'm just going to resize all of these to fit the clip and the sound. And I have my hold point, my transit point there at Abu Dhabi. Okay. Um, so now the next job that I want to do, because it's it's still quite, um, it's still not great, I'm going to blend this a little better and I'm going to add darken. So when I do that, I get this really nice effect where it seems to throw the map outside the window. And that's a really lovely um, effect, which I really like. Um, yeah, I kind of like that. We have um, a nice... Okay, so what I'm going to do now is find the first frame of the map and I'm going to scale it up to about 200. Now I'm going to get the map to move as well as the aircraft. So having done that, I'm going to position the map so that London is visible as the um, start point of the journey. So now I will find the last frame there it is. And I'm just going to move the map now all the way down until Jakarta becomes visible as the destination point. Somewhere around there. That'll do kind of nicely. Okay, so now we have um, the animation where the map and the aircraft are moving. We have a lovely effect in transit in the middle of Abu Dhabi and then moving it all the way down to Jakarta where we land. Um, on the runway. Okay, so um, that's pretty much all you need to do. Um, what I'm going to do now is add um, a couple of transitions. I'm just going to use cross dissolves um, just for time's sake. You can 
do whatever you want to do. I'm just going to tidy it up using a few dissolves. I also need to just um, shift the um, sound effects over a little bit just to make sure that they're lined up properly. Um, I need to move this one over here. And we'll just resize everything as well just so that everything fits nicely. Um, we'll continue with the cross dissolves and fade out at the end. So now yeah, we'll just resize everything so that everything fits. Okay, and final job is to add a cross dissolve um, to the transit lounge scene and that will make it look really nice. Um, as we pass through Abu Dhabi. And that's it, it's pretty much done. Um, there are thousands of different ways that you can create effects in Final Cut Pro for this. I just chose something very simple, very effective, and um, you could do whatever you want to do, and I'd be really interested to see what you can do. But it does mean you do not need extra software or extra plugins. Um, in order to um, create animated maps. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe and click that bell so you can stay updated for future videos.